Hey guys, all right, we have a really cool item to review today. This is a yoke style steering wheel for a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y. This is from Test Feel. I want to thank Test Feel for partnering with us and sending this to review. We are going to go through the uh, uninstallation of our original steering wheel. We're going to get this one set up and we're going to get it installed on our vehicle on our Tesla Model 3. Let's get going. Here's our yoke steering wheel. This is going to be a perfect replacement for our OEM steering wheel. We have all the correct bolt patterns. We've got the housings here. Basically all we're going to do is remove the airbag from the original steering wheel and then remove the steering wheel itself. We're going to take the actual guts and components out and they're going to fit perfectly inside this housing here. And then this steering wheel is going to slide back on. We're going to bolt it together. We've even got the heated steering wheel assembly here, which is going to be perfect. This is a nice leather wrap. This is going to be a really cool addition to our 2022 Tesla Model 3. Now a couple of tools we're going to need, we're going to need a flathead screwdriver to remove the old steering wheel. It's going to fit in this hole here. So actually we're going to get a smaller one to fit in that hole. We're going to need a socket with a 10 millimeter hex head and an extension. That's going to get us to remove the main bolt that removes the steering wheel. And then we'll have a needle nose pliers and that's going to help us remove our wiring harnesses. Let's get outside and get the old steering wheel off. All right, guys, we're inside our Model 3. We have our screwdriver here. I'll show you real quick. We need to make sure we power off the vehicle completely. And the easiest way for me to do that was to go here and go to search, type in power, power off. Yep, power down the vehicle. So we're fully powered down. But now we have our small screwdriver. We're going to Stick it in that hole right there and we're going to orient it to where the flat tip is turned and it just takes a little bit of doing and we're going to pop out the there we go see got the airbag popped here now do the same thing on the other side in that small hole there Boom. All right, so there's our airbag module. All we need to do is disconnect that wiring harness. We can use our needle nose pliers for here and here. Let's go grab those. All right, we have our needle nose pliers here. We're just gonna remove this wiring harness and this wiring harness. This one will be the one that can get our airbag out. There we go. Airbag removed. Boom. Now, this one we're going to undo as well. All right. Always a good idea, you guys, before removing any wiring harnesses, just snap a quick picture. That way you can reference it later. Now, we are going to take our 10 millimeter hex head socket, and it's going to go right in the center there. We're going to use our legs to kind of stabilize the wheel and we're going to crank that and loosen it. All right, that took quite a bit of force to break our nut, but we are good. We can undo it now and pop the steering wheel off. We'll just finish removing this bolt by hand. There it goes. That's our guy right there. He's going to live in the cup holder and now the steering wheel should come right off we're just going to kind of wiggle it and there we go let's get it inside and get the guts out of this one into the new one all right on the back side of our oem wheel we have these three sets of plastic tabs or clips we're going to go ahead and remove those and they just kind of push uh push out on the other side here so we'll use our small screwdriver there we go, there's one, there's two, and there's three. You see here, 
that piece is now loose and removed and then we're going to undo our four T25 screws we have one there 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 and there and now this whole assembly should just kind of pop out it's just done with little clips so you can feel it as it starts to loosen there we go we have our wheels side by side here we're going to remove this little plate and that's connected by these two tiny little screws we're going to find the right screwdriver for it i think it's a t5 so we're going to be really careful with and it's actually it's not those oh yeah it is those those two screws right there and there and this will be our wiring harness that we'll replace with here this is for the heated steering wheel and then we'll get everything put back together so those screws there are actually a t10 which i do have so we'll be able to get those off without too much issue be able to pop that plate off there we go now we can remove this connector here all right now we are fully removed and we're going to put everything back the same way do not forget to take out this tensioning band and that's actually going to be the first thing that we're going to put into our new wheel That is so much easier to do now than it would be after the fact. I'm going to remove this entire assembly here because we're going to use our OEM assembly instead of fully taking all the guts out. You certainly can go through those extra steps, but my original assembly was still good, so for me there was no reason to not reuse it. There we go. Now, first thing we'll do is reconnect our heated steering wheel. Great. We can put it back in the little holster, and then we will just slowly put things back. The way they went in. Shoot, I forgot to put <laughs> this plate with our tiny screws on, so let's take it out and do it again. All right, our two T10 screws are in. Now we can set our control plate into the steering wheel. And everything just kind of pushes and clips in. And then our four T25 screws will be the ones that will hold everything together. So we'll go ahead and get those in now. All right, all of our screws are back in. We're going to just push our three sets of little clips back in. That'll be the last step here. 
you can hear them seat. You can see the little clip actually clips in right there. So pretty simple. All right, there we go. We are ready to hopefully get this installed in the vehicle the first time, see if we can do it right. All right, we're back in the car. We have our new yoke steering wheel, something super important. We wanna make sure we put this on as straight as possible. If not, we're gonna fool with our alignment. So put the camera down and get this straight, come right back. All right, we are seated nice and square as you can see our uh, two wiring harness setups are here. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this guy back in. Perfect, now we're going to get our big old monster bolt, our 10 millimeter hex in there. Just start it by hand. Make sure we get it going properly. I want to cross thread that that would not end up well for us hand tighten here now you can certainly get a torque wrench if you want to be super specific i don't own a torque wrench so we're just going to go ahead and crank this down nice and tight again you just want to use your legs or free hand to stabilize and we're just going to go ahead and get this really really tight i'm going to use my other hand all right we're super locked in here now we're going to put our airbag assembly back in we're just going to Plug in our yellow plug there into that port and then push the uh, push the actual airbag in so the airbag is connected our three prongs just go right into the slots there we're gonna push it in and there it goes you can hear it clip do a quick horn test perfect that works now the big reveal we're gonna turn our power back on powers on let's make sure our scroll wheels work Steering wheel works. Wow, guys, this is <laughs> so gosh darn cool. You can see total clear up here. This looks awesome. You guys are going to love this yoke steering wheel. It did not take much time at all to install, about 30 minutes, and just some standard basic tool. The only thing you might have to go by is this thing here, this 10 millimeter uh, hex socket. Um, other than that, Everything else is really, really simple. I love this steering wheel. You guys are going to love it too.